Welcome back to Tuesday's Good Day Sun Law. Joining us now is Janice Breland with more on a hiring event at Fort Johnson. I had to remember to say Fort Johnson because yes. we're still trying to get used to it. Yes, <laughs> so thank you for being with us today. And um, you want to tell us a little bit about this event that y'all have coming up? Yes, um, first I'd like to say thanks for having me here. Um, and um, I'm actually with the, um, the Fort Johnson Transition Assistant Program. Okay. And what we do is we provide um, you know, support to those soldiers that are transitioning um, from the military to civilian life. And, um, and we're, you know, we're just happy to be here today. And so one of the things I'd like to start off with is just talk about today. Today is National Hire a Veterans Day. Oh, okay, And awesome. um, in this um, event, this is an initiative, I would say, that was um, first um, created by a veteran. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of this um, initiative is to uh, reach out to those employers that have veterans programs and, and kind of like invite them to come out to the installation, Fort Johnson, and just kind of like share um, information on those programs. Okay. So um, we just hosted an event um, last week where we invited nine employers to come out and they came out and they shared information about their um, um, programs that they offer. We okay. call it a connect event. Okay. So upcoming, we do have an upcoming event. Um, we have a hiring event that's coming up uh, on the 21st of September. Okay. So we're also reaching out to those employers, inviting them to come out and um, participate in that hiring event um, as a way to connect with soldiers. Okay. Uh, now, prior to that event, we are actually having um, a, um, a pre-workshop. And that pre-workshop basically is going to um, actually just, um, you know, train, train the soldiers how to use our virtual website. Now I'm going back to the um, to the hiring event. Mm -hmm. Now the hiring event is actually a hybrid hiring event, where we actually have a in-person event and a virtual event all starting in the same day. Okay. Okay. In the past we've done the event outdoors, but because of the weather, we'll right. be doing the event inside. Right. <laughs> understandable. <laughs> Very yes. understandable. Yes. <laughs> okay. And so this is going to be, um, like you said, a hybrid event. You got the you have the virtual. Um, what platform is that virtual um, portion going to be through? Um, it's going to be through um, Premier Virtual. Okay. So we're going to use that platform. And actually, um, the in-person event is going to be three hours. Wow, it's from, okay. um, nine, uh, from 10 to 1. Okay. And then um, we will continue with the virtual for 30 days. Wow. So our transition and service members will um, continue to um, interact with employers um, you know, up for 30 days. Wow, okay. And so the in-person event, where is that going to take place? The in-person event is going to be at the um, Fort Johnson Library and Education Center. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where that's going to be at. Okay. And so with this, um, today is National Hire a Veteran Day. So yes. tell me, you know, for you, what is the importance of, of doing this? Well, the importance is just to connect with employers that have um, programs um, for veterans. Okay. So that um, we can be familiar with those programs and actually share those with those transition and service members. Mm -hmm. So we are asking if there is an employer out there that has a veterans program, please reach out to us and let us know so that we can share that information with our transition and service members who will become veterans once they transition. <laughs> right. And so um, like you were saying, you work in the um, transition area at Fort Johnson. So um, when it comes to working with these veterans that are trying to transition from that military life to civilian life, um, what are some of the challenges you see the most with them? Well, some of the challenges is that they're afraid that, you know, some of the um, employers, you know, um, may not, you know, accept them, um, mm -hmm. you know, so because, you know, so we want them to know that these, um, these soldiers that are getting out, they, they come with the, um, you know, a lot of uh, ex work experience right. and they can add value to the, um, the, the, you know, the employer's work environment. Right. Okay. And so Janice, before we go, um, can you just let everyone know how they can find out more information? Okay. Um, if you're interested, if there's an employer out there that's interested in participating in the hiring event on the 21st of September, um, what they can do is they can contact the, the Fort Johnson um, Transition Assistant Program Office at 337-531-1591. Um, and if there's a job seeker or anyone interested in, you know, attending the event, um, there is a, a, a code um, that they can um, use a, a QR code to register. Okay. Or they can also call the same number. 337-531-1591 um, to register. Okay, and we, we just had that QR code up there on our screen for everyone. Yes, yes ma'am. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today and letting us know about all of this. All right, thanks for having me. And we've got more to come here on Good Day Sun Law. Stay tuned.